Hey everyone, Nick here at Misty Music Studio, and today we are going to be taking a look at a frustrating problem with this little guy having issues with external MIDI tracks and logic, possibly in other DAWs. I don't know. Hopefully this fix will work in other DAWs. I've only tried it in logic, but uh, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to open up a new empty project, external MIDI, right, and Everything looks good. S1 MIDI in, MIDI channel. Uh, well, if you select all or the channel that the S1 is on, which is one for me, we're going to have a problem. So let's recreate the problem first and then we'll figure out what a good solution is. Uh, we want to create an audio track too, also. I just like to do that because we're going to try and print this to audio at some point. Let's see. Put a metronome on. Okay, so that's the problem. And... That's the solution? And so this is still, like, kind of a problem, but the interesting thing is that while it is not feeding MIDI back to the S1, the live input is fine. So I guess it doesn't like being fed MIDI twice, or like live input and back from the computer. What I think is happening is a MIDI feedback loop. I don't have an actual solution to fix uh, like that problem, but I do have a workaround, uh, which is a little, a little extra step, but is not that bad once you get used to it. We can live play and we can record MIDI this way. So let's test that out. I'm going to record, uh, live record the MIDI. We'll quantize it in a second. And um, of course we'll quantize it. And then here's, like if you put it back to one and have it play, we're going to have a problem again. But if you go to the audio track, then change it to one. That's fine, and you can record the audio this way. Oops, I got to you know. So that's nice, huh? Uh, and then if we mute the MIDI track, and just listen to this. And then say, you know, I'm ready to create a new part. You could either just, however you want to deal with this, I usually just get rid of what I played, uh, re-record new, just to demonstrate one more time. We'll create a new audio track, same inputs. So we'll arm only this. I'm going to turn this back on, change it to two, or literally anything that is not one on my device, could be something different on yours if you've changed it. And then let's give it a little bit of release. Let's do... Unison. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to change this back to one. I'm going to quantize this, actually. Let's see if this makes it freak out. Hey. Let's try it. So it seems like this works, it's a pretty good workaround. Um, so now I can actually do my video on making a full song with this, and just this. So that'll be fun. I just kind of want to hear this before we uh, call it quits. Cool, 
there's like some like timing issues with the delay or uh, and like a misnote or whatever, but um, this thing sounds really good once you actually get it working. That's my workaround. Thanks so much for hanging out, everyone. I hope this has been helpful for you in some way. And if you're interested in that, making an entire song with only the S1, uh, I'm going to do that right now. So maybe by the time this video is out, there will be a link to some other somewhere I'm pointing. See you soon.